President Trump spoke exclusively with Breitbart, where he explained the downfalls of Democrat socialism. The Hill reported that according to a new Harris poll, fully 49.6% of the millennials and Generation Zers polled would prefer to live in a socialist country. May I suggest Venezuela is a good place to visit. That attitude is why we have such support from the Democratic base for the Green New Deal. For young millennials, their number one issue is protecting the environment, and they will go to any lengths, vote for any candidate, and support any cause that will achieve that goal. It was young, white millennials who voted out Joe Crowley in favor of Representative Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, D.N. Why, who recently called President Franklin Delano Roosevelt the closest thing to socialism this country has ever had? a racist. President Donald Trump told Breitbart News on Monday that he feels very strongly that the United States will never succumb to socialism. I feel that, I feel it's very strongly, Trump replied when asked by Breitbart News's Washington political editor Matthew Boyle about his pledge in the State of the Union address that the United States would never become a socialist country. Trump continued by explaining that many Democrats are campaigning on socialism, however, because it is easy to campaign on but difficult to govern on. Now with that being said, you always have to be very careful because socialism is easy to campaign on but tough to govern on because the country goes down the tubes, Trump said. But when you tell people free medical free education, no more student loans, all of the different things that you say, it's a great thing to campaign on, but then 10 years later the country is down the tubes. It's gone. So, you always have to be careful with it, because you know you talk about single-payer, it sounds very seductive, single-payer, say what you want, but it's a very seductive thing. But it means you're not going to have good health care, it means the country is not going to be able to afford it. Not only is the country not going to be able to afford it, but it's more than the entire revenue stream taken in for the entire, it's like not even close, right? But nobody thinks about that. They think, free health care isn't that wonderful? But the truth is when you're up on the debate stage and they say we're giving you free education, we're giving you free health care, we're giving you everything you want and a Rolls Royce in everyone's pocket, it's not an easy situation. But what happens is 10 years later the country is gone. Okay, whether it's this country or any other country. Dot in response to a follow-up question from Breitbart News senior White House correspondent Charlie Spiring, Trump said that the pendulum swings in politics frequently. Trump said that if the left somehow took control down the road, the voters would eventually course correct and choose a Republican next. Then what happens is you take a violent turn to the other direction, Trump said. When Spiring asked if Trump is worried about a violent turn toward socialism after two years of his administration's policies, Trump said he is not. He pointed to his rising approval rating poll numbers, which he pointed out he has achieved despite overwhelmingly negative media coverage. I don't think so f, because we've had our best poll numbers, Trump said. You saw them, we've had our best poll numbers. We had nothing but fake news. Fox treats me well, and when I say well, I define well as fairly. It's not, some of it's not so good at all. But at least it's fair. I do really well with local, you know, the local stuff is shockingly good. It's almost like not even to be believed. But CNN and MSNBC and NBC, ABC, and yeah CBS, they're all extraordinarily bad. I would say NBC is maybe the worst and very dishonest. It's not even like bad, like bad reporting. It's totally dishonest reporting. It's really pretty incredible what they can get away with. Breitbart News Editor-in-Chief Alexander Marlow noted that many on the left are now coming out as socialists, publicly revealing themselves as such for the first time. When asked by Marlow 
whether he thinks there is a rise in support for socialism in the country, Trump questioned whether there actually is one happening. In his response, he pointed to how different Democrat presidential candidates have handled the question of supporting capitalism or socialism. Trump said the next election may very well be a referendum on socialism versus capitalism. Trump specifically cited one candidate whom he mockingly said he would not name, he later whispered to Ken Looper, for dodging a question on capitalism. Former Colorado Governor John T. Ken Looper, a Democrat running for president in 2020, dodged when asked whether or not he is a capitalist on MSNBC. Well, I don't know if there will be a rise, we have to see that and that we will only know in an election, Trump said. So far, if you add it all up, you know, I watched a certain gentleman, I won't mention his name, but he made a couple of bucks, he refuses to acknowledge capitalism. You saw that over the weekend, Hicken Looper. He was ashamed of the word, and yet I've seen others maybe going in the other direction. Trump's comments came during a more than 40-minute exclusive interview in the Oval Office in the White House on Monday afternoon.